OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network So first of all, let me just tell you a little about me and uh, why I am uh, here. And um, then I'd like to hear what you're hoping to get uh, because I have a presentation set, but um, you know, if there's something else that you came for that's not in that, then we'll change and we'll cover that. Um, my name is Peggy Ron Lindy. I'm an English teacher by trade. That's how I started out um, way back when, 1987. And uh, I was both a comprehensive high school principal as well as adult school principal um, in two different stints. And so I taught it, I was the principal for about 10 years. Um, and uh, I would say that with OTAN, uh, they were a godsend for me, especially when I first started at adult school because I had been in the high school for so long. And so I learned so much from them um, and just what was happening that I always said, well, whenever I have something that I think you know, works. <laughs> I'll share it. Um, I am actually a retired educator. I'm now part-time as uh, the director of the North Santa Clara County Consortium. And um, I will actually be retiring fully in June. So um, that's part of the reason why I'm sharing now, uh, because we found something that really works. And so I wanted to share that with you. Uh, so that's me. Um, if I could have you since we're, a, uh, oh, thanks, Veronica. Um, if we're a small group, so uh, instead of putting it in the chat, if you want, just unmute yourself and let me know, you know, what, what are you hoping to get here? Uh, what's, what's your action verb uh, for, for coming to this session? Anybody? I just want to learn about Wakelet. Okay. We're going to do that. Yeah, we're hoping to get our school, all of our teachers on Wakelet. Mm -hmm. So, and, and also we're doing WASC. So we have a lot of documents to sort. Oh, this is going to be heaven for WASC. Yay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I also want to learn more about Wakelet, but also how to like organize materials and like shared materials. Yeah. Okay, great. Anything else beyond that? Those are all things we're covering. So that's good. All right. Well, let me go ahead and share my screen and let's get started. Um, all right, let me reduce the faces here. <laughs> Not that I don't wanna see you guys. All right. Um, so first of all, just to let you know, I'm, I'm really relaxed with technology. I think when you're using technology, it's kind of a wonderful chaos. So um, I also started out teaching freshman English. So, uh, and freshmen can be a little bit bouncy and squirrely and all talk at the same time and I can hear them all. So if you have any questions as I'm going through things, just unmute, feel free, unmute. It won't bother me, be happy to clarify or, or do whatever. Um, so we're gonna be talking about, I'm gonna be sharing with you kind of organizing and accessing your consortium documents, could be WASC documents, could be um, ESL teacher team documents, staff development documents, whatever with Wakelet. Okay, so that's kind of what the whole point of this is. Um, and when you leave here, um, you will have kind of engaged with Wakelet and its features. Um, if you didn't create an account ahead of time, you'll have time to do that and to begin uh, creating something. Um, and you will also, when you leave here, identify how you might use it in the future. So you may have an idea coming in, but for example, if you want all your teachers on Wakelet, maybe you'll figure out a way to begin that process. You know, how do you kind of, where do you begin with them? How do you, how do you get them to buy in? So we can talk a little bit about that as we're going through, and then you're going to explore, um, at least one model of Wakelet in action, and that's our consortium Wakelet. So those are the things that we're gonna do. Now, I will tell you that um, we probably will go through about an hour and uh, then we'll just be playing with Wakelet. So, uh, you know, maybe for half an hour. And so um, if at any point you say, got it, I'm done, no problem. Just pop it in the chat and say, you know, I'm heading out. 
and you won't hurt my feelings, but please do the evaluation. I'd appreciate that. So I, I did more time so that people who needed more time could work on it. Okay. So pretty, pretty easy going here. Um, so what is Wakelet? It curates, it organizes, it shares content. Um, and you can do all kinds of things. You can put in images, you can put in text, uh, you can reorder it however you want to. It also does tweets, videos, uh, it links to Padlet. It does all kinds of things. So basically what it does is it helps you to um, collect and organize things. And that's really nice. You can do it on a private level where you're collecting and organizing just for yourself and you set it to private and no one can see it, or it could be for others that you're working with and then you make it public. Uh, so lots of options in terms of layers of sharing and layers of things you can do with Wakelet. So why did I go for it? So I am not a Wakelet expert by any means. Um, Susan Gere was giving a presentation. I have mad respect for her. And I thought, you know, maybe that's the thing I need. So I went there. Melinda was the, the tech at the time. And I said, hey, can you can you link, you know, Google Docs? Can you do this? And they're like, yeah, I think you can. And so anyway, she went through lots and lots of details that I don't even know that I've touched all the things that Wakelet can do. So so I'm no expert by any means. But this is why I went for it. I got all these questions. See if you can relate this. Um, can you send me that link again? Or I don't think I was ever invited to the Google Doc. Can you invite me again? Or I tried looking for the training, but it just wasn't there. Can you send me a link to the website so I can sign up? Uh, oh, wait, where can I find our group strategy timeline again? Or where, wait, where can I find the notes from our WASC uh, subgroup? Or how about, uh, it's just, you know what, it's too confusing. There's so much stuff and I can't find it on the website. I just, I don't know. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. I'll, I'll come to the meeting, but I, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anybody can relate to that, I think. Right. So that's why. Um, and so when I went to Wakelet, I found that, Wow. I could solve all those questions, all those problems, have a lot less headaches for myself, as well as the individuals that were asking the questions, because that's kind of embarrassing when you have to say, God, sorry, I can't find it. Can you send it to me again? Right? So it, it eases a lot of things. All right. So what is this picture? This is after a home run, Josh Reddick, many years ago, hit it out of the park. I'm a huge baseball fan and the Oaktown boys are my boys. So I thought, I'll show you how Wakelet hit it out of the park for our consortium. So let's go to our website here. Or I call the website, but our Wakelet. All right. So first things first, uh, I don't, at the time when I was on the session, I didn't know how to sign up and have it be just under the consortium. It seemed like it would only go under a name. It may be that you can do it under a name that is your school or uh, your consortium, but mine just has my name. So we got to sort that before I leave so that somebody else can take this over. Um, but uh, it allows you on the Wakelet to basically, you know, put pictures. Uh, and then it gives you these creations where you can um, put anything you want into these. Um, and that's how I started. Um, I started with basically our work groups who kept trying to find the documents or didn't know where things were, or, you know, it's hard. To, I don't know if you guys have problems in Google, but I do. It's like on the drive, even in the most recent, some of the most recent things end up at the very bottom under like 150 other things. And so it's not the easiest way to use it. So what I wanted to do is have one location where staff could go to, they could access their work group documents, and they could also access staff development. One of the things I noticed was that, well, first of all, they wanted a lot of things about online learning, right? And how, how can I get better at this? And that's what was happening in the fall. And so trying to put in some opportunities for them, well, if you send out an email, people sometimes go, oh, okay, I'll look at it later and it gets buried or they look at it and they say, oh, 
yeah, I don't know. I get, I get, I don't know where to go sign up. Um, and then, you know, uh, the other thing that happened is our kind of grassroots movement over uh, the uh, justice pandemic, I guess that's the way I'd call it. Um, and uh, people who were trying to really understand what could, what can I do after Joy, George Floyd was murdered? Um, what can I do? Um, besides say their names, what can I do? How can I help? And so um, people really wanted to learn more and that was fantastic. So I started curating some of those things that they could go to. Um, and then, you know, just things like if you're working with pathways and workforce skills, a lot of times those um, staff development opportunities are kind of buried. And so basically what happens is you go here now, mind you, I haven't put in the spring things yet. So the spring collection, uh, but what you do is you click on it and then it is here. Um, and you can just click on it and it will take you to where you sign up. So here's one that's coming up in April and May. If I click on this, it takes me right to where I need to register. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm curating OTAN, CalPro, CAPE, uh, sometimes COABE, uh, different things that just come across uh, my desk that, that or my desktop, I guess I should say, uh, and uh, allow uh, people to get more training. Um, I've also posted one. I took a session with OTAN about, you know, how to create a PowerPoint and do a voiceover, and make it into a movie. So I did a little Zoom recording of that for people and I put it here. It's also on our website. Um, but it's very simple for them to go in and look at what's happening. So here's one of our work groups. And this holds all the annual uh, plan strategies and what we're working on. And so right now, uh, one of the groups that uh, is uh, working on curriculum alignment, um, sometimes people come and go from that group. Um, and so what that does is it gives us, here's our timeline, here's our, uh, you know, our overall goals, the backward planning, the, you know, how will we know we accomplish a strategy? Um, and so like before last week's meeting, I said, hey guys, you know, go to the Wakelet and just review the timeline so you can see what we're doing. You'll see the agenda matches that, um, but just remind yourself of what you're supposed to bring. Um, and so it was very simple. Um, and so that works out well. Um, also we're doing pathway maps. And so this, people couldn't find it in Google because it had a weird name, first of all. So I just put the pathway map on here. These are turning into um, graphics that will be handed out at the adult school uh, and uh, the colleges and also posted online. But you can see all the, the things down here, mapping for the ESL. Um, so all of these things, they can just go and access. Okay, um, so that's really, you know, why I wanted to do Wakelet uh, because it just curates things, puts them in one spot for you guys. Um, I just put uh, in here, I put the ebook that tells you kind of things you can do with Wakelet. And we're gonna look at this video in a few minutes. Uh, and then there's another one on collaboration. And I like this guy right here. First of all, I like his accent. I think he's adorable, but he's very articulate and explains things very well, even though he says he's not a teacher, he, he should be. So uh, anyway, so this will help you if you're trying to get your teachers uh, to use it. Um, so we'll give you a link for this in the chat. In fact, let me do that now. Okay, all and right. Peggy. Peggy, while you're doing that, we also have a question. Um, can you share yeah. that folder about online learning? Someone asks, can you share that folder about online learning? The, the what? Folder. F-O-L-D-E-R. 
about yeah, the fold or on armor and learn. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, the collection is right here. Again, there's not this, the spring isn't in here. Uh, and so, um, yeah, it's everything from, you know, workforce ready. Uh, some things like this will go in the, in the uh, career pathways, uh, online learning, uh, as well as here. Sometimes I'll duplicate it. So if they go to, to one, um, as you call it, folder or collection, Wakelet calls it collection, uh, it will go here as well as another one. Um, and so these are all things that just like, this is OTAN, this is OTAN, this is CalPro, okay. Um, OTAN, 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 OTAN rocks. Okay. And some of these come out of uh, certain divisions. Um, so little adult ed office, career and college transition. And then here, what I put in this one is in the spring of 2020, um, I kind of took what Veronica and Neil were doing. They were doing kind of Friday sessions and uh, they where we could just ask questions, share that kind of thing. Why this isn't working, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, basically it, this has links to these office hours. So I did the same thing they were doing with my consortium and we did office hours and we basically did whatever people wanted to do. They came, they said, this is what we want to learn about. Sometimes I'd bring something um, like, you know, remote learning on mobile phones. Um, I had some documents there that, that uh, former high school student of mine, uh, Lisa Gonzalez, who was in um, Contra Costa, and I'm not sure where she is now. I got to call her. But anyway, uh, she had it, uh, some really neat stuff. And so she shared it with me over email. And so put that on there. Um, and so this basically is just taking uh, us to the web page uh, that is uh, on, our, uh, on our website. Uh, and so that's what's neat too, is that if you have something where you, you know, have things on the website and you just want to pull them there. Maybe it's a, a WASC uh, page or something like that. You can just make the link. Okay. All right. Um, let's see the chat here. Okay. Is it public? Yes. Everything is public. Um, and yes, I can absolutely. Uh, share everything with you and here's how i can share it is you just come to at peggy ron lindy which you may not remember how to spell my name and that's okay um so we'll put that in the chat and if you go there you can actually just uh, uh follow or just bookmark it whatever you want to do. And all this stuff is free. And one of the things that I've done with this too, is that with like the online learning, when I, when I put these things together, um, I shared it with uh, my two consortia on each side and said, Hey, feel free to send this out, feel free to, to grab and go. And so I'm going to curate a bunch of stuff. I'm going to do it this weekend for the spring staff development. So uh, if, if you want to come back here and you want to go to the links, copy it and put it on your own wakelet, feel free, grab and go, right? That's a, that's what good teachers do, grab and go. So, um, the other thing is, is that we have a, a process for accessing data. Um, our consortium, I'll show you that real quick. Our consortium has, um, our own data dashboard. And uh, this is uh, the number of uh, enrollments. Uh, we have headcount, we have enrollments, but the number of enrollments of adult school students in our two colleges um, from 2016 to the present. So they've taken almost 20,000 classes and we can go in and we can search for all kinds of things. And uh, it goes, it's current through fall of 2020, 2020. Um, and we load the data uh, two times a year because we just felt like 
it, we needed to come up with something because um, the data was always in arrear. So if we wanted to follow a cohort and survey them, we needed to be able to know who the cohort was. So we can come up, we can drill down into what grades they got and all kinds of things. Um, it's all uh, encoded so that people don't know who the students are. Um, but basically what we're doing now is we've finally gotten to the point where um, people can actually get access to the data dashboard and start looking at data. Um, and we have a whole process. And so here's an example of how you can tie to um, Padlet uh, where I did a Padlet that just put uh, kind of the process. You have to do this and then you do this and then you do this and then you do this. And it's all about, you know, getting your data checked before it goes public and they have to do a user agreement where they just sign a Google Doc uh, that says, yeah, I promise to get it checked, you know, so I don't put out errant data or something. Um, and so uh, this allows us to, um, they can just come right here. So they can sign up for a training um, and that goes to uh, another uh, spreadsheet and they can sign up for a, a level one training or a level two training. Uh, and then after that, they can explore the data. And when they get the results, they fill out a kind of a results template. It's just a, a little Google survey. And that will allow uh, me and then the subgroup uh, to um, verify their data. Um, and then this is where they, when I do the training, they just do the user agreement and I just give them a minute and they, they go to this and they, read it and they sign it. And so it's really nice for me because here I am doing the training and I can just come to this page and then I can just do everything in order, right? And go, okay, here's this. And now you need to do this. And now you need to do this. Okay, now let's go play with the data, right? And so um, that's really nice in terms of presenting, having it just be uh, right there and, and easy uh, to access. Okay, so you just heard a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. And, and pretty soon we're gonna play, okay? So don't worry, we're gonna play soon. Um, but you just heard a bunch. Um, I wanna hear from you. What, uh, what are you thinking now? Like, can you see yourself using this? If you're gonna use it, what, what would you first, what would you start with? So I'm gonna drink my coffee and you're gonna talk. And I have great white wait time. Okay, because I was an English teacher and we did Socratic seminars. And let me tell you, great wait time. Um, we started one for Turlock Adult School. I haven't been using it for quite some time because I haven't had a chance, but we're hoping to in the fall have all of our teachers hooked up to it. I love the professional development folder idea because those emails are so hard to keep track of. Yeah, so. yeah. It really is. And Stacy, I think you can, I think you can see, you can pretty much do anything, right? So where you're having your most trouble, I would say that's where you want to be. Right? So. All right. Who else? Oh, there's Jody. I see you, Jody. Hi. How are Hi. you? Good to see you, Peggy. Good to see you too. Hey, um, so this, this looks really interesting and um, what I'm thinking, we do many of the same things in our consortium, but it's not, it, but it's all on a website and we organize it on a website. This looks much more efficient and the details are a little bit more, but we're able to accomplish the same kind of thing. And I was just sitting here thinking about um, how would what would be the advantage of of shifting obviously to be a huge project but what would be the advantage of shifting to wakelet as opposed to say having everything on your website yeah so we've actually talked about that as a consortium um and the leadership board really felt like you know we needed to keep kind of static things um, and calendar items on the website. So the front page, you know, where you can really see, okay, here's upcoming agendas, here's the meetings and the meeting links, all the Zoom, you know, we have a calendar of everything. Um, so where people could just go there and they know I can get that. Um, the transition advisors and the counselors of the college felt like, you know, we still need a page that's just for us. 
uh, for counseling that has our agreements on there and what we plan to do and any flyers that we can share. And it's working for us, so we want to keep that one. And then the archiving of documents. So we archive all our minutes, of course. I'm sure everybody does that, you know. Um, and so to be able to, those static items, you know, to have them there kind of in perpetuity <laughs> is a good thing. But for the most part, what's happening is exactly what you're talking about, Jody, which is, you know, we're pretty much using Wakelet uh, for kind of the groundwork. So everybody that's working on the strategies, everybody that's doing any, anything that's in action right now, that's in the Wakelet. Um, so I don't think you have to abandon your website. I think it does serve a purpose, but it kind of depends on, you know, what you want to do. And so for us, we decided to do both. And so that seems to be working. Got it. It's, it looks like it's more active. The Wakelet is more interactive. Yes. It's more collaborative. It's more, um, I, I see what you mean by the static as opposed to the, the, the purpose is really different. Very much so. Yeah. And, and, you know, again, it, this is just my example and I've only been doing it for whatever it's been six months or something. Um, and, uh, I think was it was the last in the last spring. I don't know. Anyway, it hasn't been very long. And, um, you know, for me, it's, I wanted to do it to solve the problem of, I, well, I don't know where to go. Why don't I, didn't, I didn't read the minutes because I didn't know this and I didn't know that. And I, I didn't have the link and you guys never sent that out. And it's like, oh man, over and over and over again. And everybody was complaining about it. So it completely solved that. Like they just know it's like, go to the wakelet. And it's like, use my name, go to the wakelet, bookmark it, go to the wakelet. And so now people, they actually are doing better at that. They could never remember the name of our website. Um, so this somehow they remember. So um, okay. it's worked a lot better. And is there a cost to it? It's free. Okay. Completely free. And you can use it without what I love. And this is the thing that went ding, ding, ding for me too, is that, yeah, Sonia, I'll get to you next. Um, the, you don't have to sign up for uh, a Wakelet account, you can go there. So anybody can jump on my Wakelet and look at all the stuff. You only create an account if you want to create a Wakelet, right? So that's beautiful because, you know, I could say this because I'm an old dog learning new tricks. Some old dogs don't want to learn new tricks. And so it's great, but they can click and that's great. They go there, they get it, right? All right. Sonia, I think you had a question, yeah? Oh, sorry. I did not have a question. I was just fixing my glasses, but I, oh. um, <laughs> but I, I think okay. for, at least you know, I'm paying attention to you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, everything you were sharing in the beginning, just about all the Google folders, like, where is it? Did I get shared on it? That's exactly what happens with our teachers. And I think, yeah. yes, I, I think the uploading of it, is, it's going to take a lot of work, but I think once it's set, then people can just add things and especially things that are not static thing. If they're, if people are working on a, a, a unit together, then all the materials, things that people are creating, yes. it would be nice to just have it on a website versus like, here's the Google folder for this. It, cause yeah, yes. a lot of it gets lost. A lot of it gets messy. It gets Mm -hmm. just organize yeah. pretty quickly yeah and the nice part <laughs> is you can create the links and for us we put the most recent links uh so doesn't mean we have everything listed on there but um you know you could list everything on there or you could put a folder that says here's the archive stuff here's all the google archive stuff and have links there so it really mm -hmm. does curate really nicely peggy all right yes hi this is marcy with corona narco um, I don't know how to raise my hand. So even though my picture, okay. um, in my picture, my hand is perpetually raised all the time. But um, <laughs> so I have a question. I'm curious. I, I noticed your Wakelet linked to a Padlet. And mm -hmm. I understand the importance of having a repository. Everybody meets for all the documents or everything here on this one site. So the mm -hmm. options are really like Padlet, a Google site, or a Wakelet. Can you talk for a minute about like why you're on Wakelet versus Padlet or a Google site? Um, yeah, so uh, 
I think for me, what was appealing about Wakelet is that, because I was also looking at it as a tool for the teachers um, and their online learning. And what I realized was that it could um, house all of those things. So you could link to a Padlet, but students for a class, let's say it's you know beginning literacy or um, English and high school diploma, they could go to one location and it would link to the Padlet, it would link to the Google items and it would all be in one place. And I think that's the advantage is that it curates from everywhere. It curates YouTube videos, it curates uh, uh, Twitter, posts. It does all kinds of things. And so basically what you can do is you can uh, have everything there. So let me share my screen real quick. And I'm going to show you, I'll show you, let's go to showcase here. Um, and you'll see uh, that, let's find one that's a teacher. I know that, <clears throat> excuse me, that we have several teachers that keep information for students on a website or no, mm -hmm. on Padlet, but then one just swears by Wakelet and she's just like, it's so much easier, but I, I haven't really experienced the differences. Yeah, I'm trying to find one now. For some reason, what they have on the showcase is um, a lot of broad topics and not. This might be something. Let's take a look. Steve Isaac. So I assume he's a teacher. Oh, well, this supports educators. So it's all kinds of things. Um, so it's not. OK, well, I, I don't want to spend sure. a lot of time jumping through this, but you can see that there are things on here uh, that you can find. This is just the showcase, uh, but you also can, uh, you know, there are places you can go and there are links uh, that uh, take you to certain teachers um, pages. And some of them are really phenomenal. Um, mm -hmm. I saw a, a kindergarten teacher who had just so many things and things for the parents to do with the kids and very clear about what needed to be done, you know, that week and reading and other things. And so, um, you know, lots of, of really good stuff there. Um, and in fact, let's go ahead and jump over to, I mean, we talked a little bit about that. Um, Let's go ahead and do this video. Let me make sure, yeah, share sound is still on. Um, here's- Hello everybody, my name is Misba, and today go. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a quick tour around Wakelet. So what is Wakelet? Some of you may have heard about it before. It's really simple. Wakelet is a platform that allows you to quickly save any kind of mixed media content you find on the web, arrange it into visual, engaging collections, add your own content to these collections, and then share them with your students, your teachers, and your learning community. You can also invite your students to these collections so they can contribute their own ideas and work together to create some really amazing things. One platform, one simple concept, unlimited possibilities. And this last part is really important. Wakelet is 100% free to use and 100% unlimited. How awesome is that? Now, there are three important areas where Wakelet can really help you. The first one is organize your learning resources quickly and easily. The second one is sharing those resources in a more engaging and visual way. And the third one is to boost collaborative skills within your learning communities. So real quick, let me show you a few awesome examples of how educators just like you are using Wakelet to achieve some incredible things in their schools, their classrooms, and their professional lives. So first of all, we're gonna head to Brandy Reens's collection. Now, Brandy is a kindergarten teacher, North Carolina, and she uses Wakelet in so many different ways, but one of the best ways that she uses it is to actually curate these amazing um, uh, interactive visual newsletters that she shares with her school community. So in this collection right here, you can see one of Brandy's collections, uh, one of Brandy's newsletters. She's got a Flipgrid video here, She's got the week's goals. So this is really awesome when it comes to instructing the, um, the parents on what's happening in the class and, uh, and for the students to understand where they are. Uh, and again, another Flipgrid video, 
uh, a YouTube video of, uh, of the kids doing the lion dance, uh, and then all of these little resources here, so a PDF and uh, a website, um, and she's organized them in an incredible way, and as you can see, all of a sudden, rather than just having hyperlinks one after the other, this is a really, really engaging newsletter. And it's simply done by just copying and pasting links. And I'll show you that in just a few moments. So here we go, sharing newsletters, creating an amazing newsletter that you can share with whoever you want. So next up, we have this amazing collection created by a teacher called Edward van der Sample. And he wanted to teach his students a little bit more about the civil rights movements in the United States and get his students to think a little bit more deeper into what that meant. So he created a Wakelet collection as a lesson plan. And here you can see he's got some text here. This is instruction. He's added some YouTube videos. He's also uh, directly uploaded a, um, well, recorded a Flipgrid video directly into the collection. I'll show you how to do that in just a few moments. Again, a PDF and then more instruction. Now this link here actually posts to a student response wakelet. So he shared a unique code with his students. They've gone to that code and then been able to add their own responses and their own thoughts and complete this particular assignment um, uh, in their own particular way. So I really love this collection. I think it's an amazing example of a lesson plan and another really good uh, example of pulling lots of different resources together using that mixed media effect to create an amazing lesson plan. Lastly, we've got uh, Julie Parsons. Now, Julie Parsons, this is a, what you're looking at right now is a Wakelet profile. And uh, Julie Parsons is a, a, one of our amazing student ambassadors, and she's created a, a digital portfolio on Wakelet, right? So what she's been able to do here is turn her uh, profile page into this amazing interactive portfolio where she's able to showcase all of the best things that she's done during her academic career and also spilling out into her own personal life as well. So you can look here, this is a digital portfolio. She's got her resume, videos, graphics, uh, the student ambassador program that she did, uh, the SWAT group that she's a member of, so a special extracurricular activities there. And then also, this is really cool. She's got the opportunity to share things like her own passions and her own business, which in this particular case is a, uh, a bakery called Madame Pastry. And of course, she's the school mascot, so she gets to share some really cool videos there as well. So when it comes to sharing resources, Wakelet is super, super easy. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to create your first Wakelet collection and then share it who, with whoever you want. So I'm in my home area here on Wakelet, and if you go to wakelet.com and sign up, you can go get to this home area, um, uh, sign up, and you'll obviously this area will be empty, but you'll be able to create your collections and get that filled up in no time. I'm gonna click Create a New Collection, and let's say that I'm an educator and I want to create a collection on uh, climate change for my students, right? I want to create a collection which kind of brings together a whole bunch of resources to share with them so that they get a better grasp and a better understanding of what climate change actually is. Super simple. I give my collection a title. I'm going to call it climate change. Write a quick description, being a bit lazy there. And then I can go ahead and add a cover image. So I can either upload an image from my own computer or I can choose from a free library of images that we've got. So if I search climate change into this, gosh, my spelling's bad. Um, you'll be able to see that there's lots of these amazing high definition images which I can use. I'm gonna grab this one here and that's gonna become the cover image for this collection. And I can also go and click on this little gear icon at the top, click add a background image and I'll do the same here. Let's just pick the first one there. So what I'm doing now is I'm making the collection really engaging just by adding pictures, just by making it look good. The alternative to this would be a, uh, let's say a doc or a hyperdoc even, where it's, it's just the white background with links. I'm gonna show you some really amazing things right now. This right here is where the magic starts, this little plus button. This is a magic Wakelet plus button. When I click it, you can see all of the different kinds of content which I can add into this Wakelet collection. So I'm gonna start by just finding this BBC article here about climate change. I'm gonna to go to the top, right click, copy the URL, go back to the Wakelet collection and check this out. I paste it in and like magic, that uh, item appears here with an image and with a description. And the really cool thing is I can actually go ahead and contextualize this collection, as, uh, this, this piece of content as well. So rather than just keeping it as it is, I can go right in, click the edit button and change this to read this first and add that context to the lesson or to the particular activity that I want my students to be engaged with. That's just one kind of piece of content which you can add to Wakelet. I'm gonna click the plus button again. And let's see, on SoundCloud, this is a really cool podcast about climate change. Let's just copy that again. Right click, copy, 
go back to Wakelet, right click, paste it in. And that SoundCloud podcast will embed into the Wakelet collection, which means that the students aren't gonna have to go off to soundcloud.com. They're gonna be able to listen to it there and then within this particular environment, within this collection. And of course, the same thing applies to uh, YouTube videos as well. So let me just go ahead, copy this. And I'm sure by now you're probably getting the idea. You're taking this mixed media content, you're pulling it all together into one place, and you're creating this awesome, engaging, interactive environment for your students to learn from. Um, the same thing applies to social media posts as well, so check this out. I'm on a tweet here from the UN. I've clicked on the tweet. Once again, right click, copy, back to Wakelet, plus button, right click, paste it in. And this will become second behavior for you. This will become, uh, sorry, not second, it'll become second nature and learned behavior for you because you can just copy and paste things really quickly and add them on. We've also got a, uh, an, an extension across all the browsers that you'll be able to do this even quicker. Okay, and now lastly, I'm gonna show you how to add text. So you just literally click this little text button here and then just write whatever you want. Many teachers use this text element uh, as a way to kind of share instruction and add a bit more context to the resources which they're sharing. So let's just finish that. We also can uh, make it a header, make it bigger, underline it, very nice. And then I can rearrange things, so I can click on easy reorder mode and I can rearrange these items as I want. And the really cool part is there's four different layouts that you can choose, depending on the type of content that you want to get across to your students. So with this one here, I'm in the media view, which means that all of this will play in line and it's embedded. I've got a compact view, which is just for the links really. I've got a grid view, which is amazing when you want to compare resources. A mood board, where you can just drag and drop things around. It's a bit of organized chaos. You can have a lot of fun with this with your students, especially when you're collaborating with them because it's real time. So there's all these amazing resources flying in at once. Okay, so let's say I've created this collection and I want to share it with my students. Up here in the top right, we've got three different privacy settings, public, unlisted, and private. Private means only you can see it. Unlisted means only people that you share the link with can see it. And then public means that everybody can see it and it appears on your Wakelet profile. Let's just make this unlisted for now. In the top left-hand corner, I can click invite and actually invite my students to this collection where they can contribute their own thoughts and their own ideas to it by using the QR code or a copy code or just a copy link. Uh, you can discover how to do this by just uh, going to our YouTube channel um, or Help Center. You'll be able to find out really easily how to collaborate with your students on Wakelet. So I'm going to click Done here because I've finished this collection. And I'm going to click the Share button because I want to share this with my students or with my learning community. We've got loads of different options here. Google Classrooms, we've got Teams, we've got Twitter. Uh, or you can just simply copy and paste this link share it with whoever you want, and when they visit it, they don't need a Wakelet account, they'll be able to just view it exactly as though it's a web page. I can also export this as a PDF, and I can embed. So the really cool part is I can actually embed this Wakelet collection into my LMS, into my learning uh, management system, or I can embed it into my blog or my page. And that's it, that's the, uh, the Wakelet platform in a nutshell. Now, just bear in mind that I've only shown you uh, just a few examples of the amazing things that educators can do on Wakelet. Um, I've shown you digital portfolios, classroom newsletters and lesson plans, but there's so much more. We're talking about learning. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there. Um, so I think you can see it's uh, pretty easy with lots of possibilities. Um, in terms of what you can do. Um, and that's why it was like, I, I'll just take you there and show you because um, he says it way better. And there are tons of videos out there. Like he said, you could search it on YouTube as well. But in the meantime, why don't we play a little bit? Uh, if you have created a Wakelet account, uh, why don't you uh, go to your Wakelet account? Uh, if you have not created a Wakelet account um, and you would like to, then uh, go ahead and uh, go to wakelet.com and create a quick account. Um, and let's see. One participant can share at a time. I think um, Veronica, can they share their screen as they're doing things or do I have to click? Yes, all participants, or excuse me, all attendees have access to share their screen. Fantastic, okay. So, um, so while you're doing that, what I'm gonna do is I will share my screen again and I will go to my Wakelet and um, 
get ready and we will uh, 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 why is this not reducing? Hold on. Why is this escape not working? There it goes. All right. So let me get my wakelet up. And then what we can do is uh, we can start putting some things together and you guys can follow along, a, follow along a little bit. And then eventually, if you want to share, you can share and, and we'll do that. So So to create an account, you just uh, go to wakelet.com and I'm sure it says create an account. I don't remember now at this point. Um, but once you do, or if you have your account, uh, there's two places to go. One place is kind of the home and this is where you kind of can create new creations. And then this is the view, uh, uh, whatever you choose for a, um, for a profile picture, uh, will go there. I just chose this because it kind of matched colors. Um, and this is what they will see uh, when they go to your site. Okay. So um, home is where you actually um, create uh, new collections. Um, and so uh, one of the things that I might do, for example, is I might create a new collection. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be fully retiring in June. And so I might create a new collection for the new director coming in. Um, and so I might create something that, you know, uh, has lots of different links. So it's a quick place to go. Uh, maybe it's set up by months. And so these are the big things happening in this month, this month, this month, um, and, uh, and kind of put everything there. Um, and that's nice because while there will be a whole Google Drive, there's a ton of stuff in the Google Drive, right? But if you can timestamp it by, this is when it's relevant to you in your life, you know, in July and August and September, um, that would make sense to do that. Um, or I might do something else because, for example, one of the things that uh, I am doing now is a lot of, um, oops, when you add, a cover image, you can choose from the library. Anyway, one of the things that I'm doing is a lot of word working. My uh, grandfather who came from Denmark, one of them, the other from Greece, uh, he was a cabinet and furniture maker and my dad did a lot of that. Um, and so I am actually creating a lot of uh, things now um, and uh, kind of giving them away, maybe selling them. I don't know. So I'm thinking about I could sell them. So uh, so maybe I use Wakelet to help people come here and see what's available for sale. Um, and also YouTube videos, if I create any of those, I'm not doing it now, but I'm just saying like, I could see myself doing that, right? So I don't get bored with life uh, and uh, keep teaching, right? So um, I might put in here uh, a place to find videos. Recommendations. Items for sale. Advice. Okay. And maybe here I decide that I want to um, go to one of my favorite YouTubers. Let's see which one I'm on here. So I have two Google accounts. Um, okay, this is the right one. So let's do, uh, let's go to DIY and uh, let's see. Maybe I wanna do like the only two power tools. If you're just starting out, what you really need. For a long time, I had almost whoops. none of it. Rewind right. about 12 years to my mid. And so maybe I want to take this. I just copy the URL. Paste it in. And these are things that uh, people could just 
see, click on. Uh, I can do the same if I have my own videos. Um, again, just to show you, you can change the layout uh, where you uh, maybe do a grid view. And so, as you said, comparing things are, are great. Or what you saw on my other one was the mood board where when you add things, they just kind of uh, go in whatever order, but then you can drag and drop them, you know, wherever you want. Um, if I want to do something else, um, those woodworking. Do a little bit of carving that happens. Make nice furniture by carving, old school, you know. And then maybe I write a description about this and whatever. So you can see basically how easy it is. Uh, if I was going to be doing Instagram, Twitter, all that, uh, I could. Uh, I don't know if it does Instagram, but I could do definitely do Twitter. Um, Yeah, just does just does Twitter for now. My guess is they'll be adding it, and they'll probably add TikTok as well. Um, so then with this, uh, it just ends up on my page. So uh, I can have this with all the others, and if I make this private, um, then oops, I didn't do that ahead of time. Sorry. If I make it private or I make it, you know, you have to have the link, uh, you know, unlist public, unlisted private, um, you have to have the link, then I could have multiple things at one time, right? Um, so uh, now that I have it, you have to have the link. When somebody comes here, uh, they don't see it. They just see what you saw before, right? And if you had the link, you could go to it. And of course I could see it on my creation page, right? So that's the nice part or we make it private. So let's say your teachers are creating lessons. They may have notes for themselves and other things. Well, they, you know, take a creation or maybe it's student work that they're uh, using pieces of uh, to demonstrate, you know, uh, you know, how to achieve, you know, excellent work, you know, satisfactory or just approaching, maybe they do something like that. Um, and they could keep that in their own and keep it private uh, and just show it when they, they chose to show it. Um, so pretty simple. Yeah. Do you guys think it's simple? Feel free to unmute. You guys can all unmute if you want. Yeah. And what I'd like to see is, is somebody creating something now? I, I just, I created a page. This is Evelyn Gonzalez, but I haven't awesome. put anything on it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's, you're the one who just volunteered. Tag, you're it. So why don't you go ahead and share your screen? And um, uh, I'm actually on my tablet. Well, here, you know what? Let me see. Let me try to open it on my tablet. Yeah, let's see if it works. Um, let me go to the website really quick and then I'll share. Okay. Anybody else doing? Uh, creating anything? I've created a, something, but it's pretty basic. <laughs> but I mean, it's pretty simple how to do it. It's okay. It seems simple. Yeah, we were playing around with it and, and uh, just started. Yeah, just trying to figure out how to add things in and how much, how easy awesome. it is. Yeah. Okay, good. So let's see if, let's see if Evelyn can, can show us uh, from her, from her iPad. Uh, I don't know if it's should be able to. Peggy, real quick, can I ask you about um, yeah. when you sign up, if you're wanting to, you said something about you had to put it under your name. Yeah. And now as when, when you leave in June and congratulations on that. Oh, thank uh, you. How, when you're signing up, what should we consider um, naming it or how do you do it so that um, it's not tied to just one person? Yeah, so that I don't know yet. Uh, 
but because I, I, I'm probably going to have to, you know, get in touch with Wakelet because um, I haven't found it anywhere. So I want to see about that and how someone could do that. Um, right now, the only thing I can tell is that it has to be tied to a person. So it could be that what happens is the new person that comes in creates their Wakelet um, and names it North Santa Clara County Consortium. And then we just have to recreate it um, and cut and paste. Um, which wouldn't take a whole, I mean, you see how fast it is. So it's not like it would be terrible. Um, but what would be great is if it could just get transferred. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, but hopefully we can create it under just the consortium um, and then transfer that eventually. Again, I don't know that that's possible. So um, that's something I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Um, okay, thanks. Know. Yeah, and I don't know if you, if you guys want an answer on that. If I if I find the answer, if you just put your email in the chat, because um, I'll save the chat and then uh, I can email you, you know, okay. when and if I find it out. Yeah. All Thanks. right, Evelyn, how are we doing? Let's see if it'll work. Um, okay, go for it. Green. Um, what is this? Okay. I don't know. Um, so you should be able to go just somewhere either the bottom or the top and look for that share screen and and it'll be in green no i don't think it's oh look at you is it working yeah look at you we see it beautiful look at that you got your photo up you got a little background photo there awesome now what are you planning to do with this so I'm actually an educational advisor uh, for the Marina Valley College, and we are okay. launching we're launching engagement centers okay. for our different schools. So I'll be overseeing two different schools, like School of Public Safety and then School of um, Humanities, Education, and Social Behavioral Sciences. Fantastic! And we'll having um, student success teams. Um, so I'll be working, like collaborating with our counselors, with our faculty and other clerical staff. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just trying to think of a way to, that's why I wanted to learn more about it, like organize information that we're all going to need. We yes. currently use Teams, but like you said, the people don't have the link or they weren't given the right access to, to log in um, and then they just can never find it. So this I'm, I'm just trying to figure out a way to be able to post um, flyers of events that we're organizing, um, workshops, and just leave it on one one space. Yeah, I think this would work really well for you. And, and you could actually do, you know, a collection that is, uh, I forget, one was policing and one was something else. So you could do a collection for each of those. Uh, and then maybe you have a joint collection for educators in both, right? Or um, office staff in both, you know, hey, here's what we need to do for all students in both programs. So um, you could definitely, you could definitely do something here. Fantastic. Okay. So um, let's see. Very. Uh, how about um, we go to, let's see, was it Marcy, you had something, right? So can you pop your screen up? And thanks, Evelyn, for being the so willing to be tagged. <laughs> yes, I can. It's not awesome. anything. Let's see. It's okay. Don't don't uh, you guys don't feel weird about you know. Oh, I don't really <laughs> have much there. It's like the the point is is that we see different ways that people think of things and and how they're doing things. You know. So can you see my second screen? Can you see me yes. here? Yeah, so fantastic. Practice. This is where I can practice. I'm just really trying to, I'm really comfortable with Padlet, but to mm -hmm. be honest, Padlet to me doesn't look uh, as professional as Wakelet. I think I like the aesthetic. Wake, Wakelet looks a little bit more official. Padlet looks like, a Padlet is a bulletin board, like a virtual bulletin yeah. board. Yeah. And so I'm just still kind of deciding if this is what I want to use, I, I create a lot of like curriculum under certain topics like EL civics curriculum. So it would be cool to have a wakelet instead of um, how I'm doing it now on Padlet. So, and I pay for Padlet because Padlet yeah. is expensive if you yeah. go over a certain amount. And 
I'm right. noticing Wakelet is completely free. Like it doesn't look like after 20, you have to start paying. No, it's completely free. And, and it's wonderful that way. Now with Padlet, um, you know, certainly you could create boards and you could link those boards here, uh, but you also, uh, you know, and you just, you just use the URL, right. And, yeah. and pop it in and that'll take that. Like I have the one Padlet thing. Um, but yeah, Padlet is, um, you know, it's okay. I, I think it's really good when, you know, if you want to do it for um, people answering questions and putting up ideas and you're brainstorming together, that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, so I see that, or like I used it for that process. Um, it was just mm -hmm. added a little flair to it rather than just doing it in some kind of, you know, document or Excel spreadsheet or something else. So I definitely, you know, has its place here so but you could just link it here so again that the idea that it's all in one place is is really neat so yeah like the green and gold up there by the way yeah. the right there it's kind of cute okay so i just put so see i just put my pharmacy padlet like right here um, great and so what you'll need to do with that is if you click edit then what you can do is edit the image exactly and if you go to the free images, uh, choose from library, um, then just uh, put pharmacy up there in the search bar. Oh. There you go, maybe you can find something there. Oh, very cool. There you go, boom, look at that. I mean, yeah, so this is how I move my stuff over. Oh yeah, yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. So now, can you can you click on your Padlet for us so we can just see what your Padlet what looks happened? like? Am I still in edit mode? Oh, you have to you have to go up and push done, so it all saves uh, up in the top right. Oh, it's under um, my little Zoom thing. There we go. Um, no thanks. Uh, Later. Yeah. Okay, now click on it. There you go. Boom, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Look how easy that is. See, don't you love that? Yeah. Ah, I love anything that's easy. You know, yeah. We're busy people, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank All you. right, Marcy. Let me uh Jody. Jody and company. What do you guys got? Not much. <laughs> Who's with you, Jody? I don't I don't know your person with you. This is Autumn. Autumn. <laughs> Hi, Autumn. We're joined Hi. at the hip. So, you know, we, we don't do anything alone. All right. Awesome. So show us what you got. Okay. All right. We'll see what we can. There it is. Nope. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's as far as we got. We haven't even got a title on it yet. <laughs> that's okay. That's fantastic. What you are demonstrating here is remember how he showed you you can do uh the kind of first picture there and then you can do a background so yes. you have the the i don't know if that's the uh, yosemite area or where that is but i don't know we uh, just like the outdoors it's so beautiful we yeah just looking for a cool picture so. <laughs> yeah yeah so and yeah. then yeah. so yeah and can you show them how where you went to get that background picture you want to just sure, you go up that? to the settings up in the top left hand where it has appearance change background image and right there you can upload or pick one and click on it and go ahead and pick, pick one okay and there we go now we Beautiful. have sand on sand <laughs> sand on sand i love it yeah and on that just to let people know you know when you do the um the upload image, that's where you can upload images of your students or you can, uh, you know, upload uh, things in action or maybe even, um, you know, a picture of somebody using a certain tool, like if it's farm tech, for example, maybe it's a certain tool. Um, so that'd be great. Um, Allison has her hand up. So Allison, you got a question? Just jump in, guys. You know, don't. I might not see your hand raised, so just jump in. Not a question so much as a comment on... Um, okay. I um, I work for State Center Adult Education Consortium. I'm the administrative assistant over there. And so I take care of all of our emails. Mm -hmm. So I made a new Gmail account for us that was just wakelet at statecenter.com. And rather than signing up for a wakelet account 
like through Google or Facebook or anything like that, then that allowed me to just make an account that says State Center Adult Education Consortium and then the wait oh. at SCAEC. So it doesn't have anybody's name on it. Rockstar. It our, our, um, our work information, basically, our consortium information. You're awesome. God. You're a rock star. Okay, Jody, there you go. There's your answer, buddy. All right, fantastic. Thank you, Allison. Okay. So, did everybody understand that? How to? If you didn't, if you have a question for Allison, let's ask it now. You right. said you set up a Gmail, right? Well, yeah. Ours, all of our, we're all at at statecenter.com, but it's technically a Gmail account. Oh, okay. So um, I think you could use any kind of, of Gmail account that you want, but I just made another one that has our um, at statecenter.com. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And what was that again, Allison? You put, was it your team or the, what was the name of it? Something at State Center? Yeah. When you, it'll ask you for your name when you sign up. Yeah. And yeah. I just put in as my name, I just put in State Center Adult Education Consortium. And I then so. when you go to the next step, it asks you to pick <clears throat> a wakelet at, and then you can, it gives you one, but you can, uh, you can change it at that point. Fantastic. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you so much. You That's bet. great. All right. Who else has something to share? You guys just got time, time to do some, to play a little bit. So Maybe some boy power, Jonathan. Noel, I think, came in maybe partway through. I'm not sure. He looks a little beat up Hello? there, Noel. Can you hear hi. Me? Yeah, hi. Hi. Um, so I I did create one. Um uh, and awesome. actually um about about creating um a Gmail for for um for your school. That's actually a good idea. I've been doing that for years. What I actually have, have been doing is um if if I needed to link iPads together and I want to be able to um, to do the find my iPhone, what mm -hmm. I would do is I would actually create a school account and then connect all the iPads there. And now you're able to actually see all the iPads. But awesome. anyways, um, let me see if I can share my screen. Great. There you go. Can you guys all see it? Nice. So basically yes. I, I created one. Um, just just for like a road trip because we haven't you know we haven't gone out in like <laughs> yeah. um, about a year Fair. now and we <laughs> yeah and my family and i we we usually love to go um uh long distance driving mm -hmm. and the last one that we actually had was um we drove to uh we drove to mount rushmore wow. on the prius and with um with three kids and my oh wife boy. was pregnant. Oh boy. So you're a brave man. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and know that the Prius does not have um, a spare tire. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. But um, yeah, so these are probably the um, other places that we haven't really been into. And, you know, I think it's a great program. Um, Wakelet, what I usually use at school is um, Google Sites. Mm -hmm. So I have one um, specifically for teachers because I'm I'm an advisor. Um, I'm the technology advisor. So gotcha. what I do is um, I I created um, a site specifically for teachers with all the links that they'll ever need. Um, so no students allowed because there's nothing really there that, that they'll need. But I think that this is way more interactive. Um, and I like the way that you can put a background. Yeah. You know, so you can't you can't really do that on on Google Sites plus. It's challenging to actually put in, you know, all these links on and have them pop up with like, you know, a picture on Google sites. You might have to create one yourself. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, so these are, this is what I've, what I've been working on for the past, I don't know, like five, five minutes, I guess. That's awesome. I love it. And Thank that you. kind of thing makes you feel better too, right? <laughs> it's like, hey, yeah, someday I'm going to get to go there. <laughs> Like exactly that. that's exactly. a page of hope right there i love it that's awesome Rep. yeah very good very good all so, right thank you okay so anybody else want to share i 
I can share. I don't, I don't have awesome. a lot. I've been there. waiting for you, Sonia. <laughs> I've seen you kind of moving in the background. I knew you were doing stuff. All right, let's see it. All right, let me just uh, get it on the right one. Um, so I just based it off uh, one of the units our teachers are working on. I mean, they're working on a lot of units, but uh, can, I, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Um, and so this one is on digital, digital literacy. Mm -hmm. And so one of our instructors had created a Google Drive folder with tech lessons, so everything she's added to it. I just copied the folder here. And then another instructor, she has been making these how-to videos on a playlist on YouTube, and I just added it here. That's great. Well, that way, um, like Jackie, who's working on this one, she can keep adding to YouTube, but she doesn't have, now that the main link is here, she doesn't have to like go to this page and go to YouTube. If she just keeps doing what she's doing, then it's already here and accessible for other teachers. Yeah. Um, and so same with this Google Drive. We haven't yet seen a, a video. Can you click on that video for us just so we can mm -hmm. see how that comes up? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so there's all kinds of them there. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, this one's like. Yeah, and so if you're top. teaching, you could even say go to number eight or something like mm -hmm. you could put a, a thing up top. This week, it's number eight, yes. right? So back on your Wakelet page or whatever. Yes. That's very cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's nice. That's all I've dabbled with, but. That's great, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. And pretty easy. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. again, this, it, it, it looks good and, uh, and it's easy. So, all right. So, you know, we started talking originally about, you know, thoughts about how this would work. Anybody else want to share any ideas about, gosh, now all of a sudden you're going, Hmm, I think I might use it like this. All right, then I think we maybe tackled all of that. Um, any questions? We've got about 10 minutes left. Uh, we could end early. We could, if we're done, we'll end. Um, but are there more questions? This was really helpful. Thank you. I appreciate it. I was really oh, yeah. confused on on what I've heard the hype, but I, I like to see it in practice. So thank you, I appreciate the help. Yeah, I'm so glad it was helpful. It was a godsend for me. So it's uh, like I said, I thought I should share. I steal so much from OTAN, I should share back, right? <laughs> we all should. This was a good one, Peggy. Um, one of the best sessions. We're Autumn and I are gonna just start playing away and see what we can come up with. Appreciate your Awesome, insight. awesome, great. All right. Um, well, I think Veronica is going to pop an evaluation in the chat somewhere. So if you guys could could do that, that would be great. And um, I will also in the chat, um, I'm putting in my email. There it is. So director at NSCC, or if you want to call me, let me put that in too. So if you have a quick question. Not that I'll have the answer, but I'd be glad to try and help you think through it. So um, anyway, if you want to uh, email me or, or give me a holler or text me or whatever. So I'm probably better with text than with email because since I'm part time. But yeah, so I'm really glad you guys were here. Thanks so much for coming and taking the time. I know you have lots of choices. And so um, I'm really glad this was helpful. Um, that was my goal is to have somebody else feel the same way I did when Susan uh, showed me how to do it. So um, thanks for coming.